Now, I'm sure that most of you know the old story about the astronaut who went far out into space and was asked on his return whether he had been to heaven and seen God. And he said, yes. And so they said to him, well, what about God? And he said, she is black. <laughs> and although this is a very well-known and well-worn story, it is very profound. Because, I tell you, I knew a monk who started out in life as pretty much of an agnostic or an atheist. And then he began to read Henri Bergson, the French philosopher who proclaimed the vital force, the élan vital, and uh, so on. And the more he read into this kind of philosophy, the more he saw that these people were really talking about God. And I've read a great deal of theological reasoning about the existence of God. And they all start out on this line. If you are intelligent and reasonable, you cannot be the product of a mechanical and meaningless universe. Figs do not grow on thistles. Grapes do not grow on thorns. And therefore, you, as an expression of the universe, as an aperture through which the universe is observing itself, cannot be a mere fluke. Because if this world peoples, as a tree brings forth fruit, then the universe itself, the energy which underlies it, what it's all about, the ground of being, as Paul Tillich called it, must be intelligent. Now, when you come to that conclusion, you must be very careful because you may make an unwarranted jump. 